हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर शरद जोशी आई एम एसोसिएट डायरेक्टर एंड हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट पल्मोनोलॉजी एट मैक्स वैशाली हॉस्पिटल गाजियाबाद आई थिंक टेली मेडिसिन इज इज एक्चुअली द प्रॉपर यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ टूडेज टेक्नोलॉजी एज वी हैव सीन डेट देर वर सो मैनी लॉकडाउन्स सो मैनी प्रॉब्लम्स विद द कोविड पैंडमिक even the doctors were not available and they were the entire health system was preoccupied and oversaturated that is the time when telemedicine came to help of patients who were far from advanced medical facilities telemedicine all the doctors could reach in fact uh, the at aims they had a different department they had a separate unit to support and advise all the doctors who were managing covid despite of no experience in respiratory failure or covid patients so definitely this has this particular technology has helped a lot to the entire nation not only the medical fraternity but the people who were suffering and people who were far from any reach of the advanced medical facilities in fact all the patients were also very happy to consult their doctors on telemedicine on the video consultation because not only doctors were safe from repeated infections or exposing themselves to infections rather patients were also saving themselves from trouble to visit a highly infected area or the hospital or the clinic setting where all the other patients were being dealt with so it was a win win situation for both patients who were remotely placed and for doctors as well so if you ask about non invasive ventilation it was life saviour because in the wave 2 especially when we had seen the huge burden of patients and all patients were in respiratory failure they required high flow oxygen there were patients who were requiring ventilator support so there were not enough ventilators to be uh, provided to all patients in fact the niv actually saved lot of trouble for the management of patient as well as for the doctors also because on a long run we have found that niv the patients who were saved or managed on niv they did better so their recovery was better and their management of their respiratory failure was even easier than the ventilated patients if you ask about non covid patients or in post covid era niv actually is very important uh, this is good that because of covid pandemic people have come to know about niv but whether it is cpap whether it is bipap or even if we talk about avaps or niv higher than that it has already been said multiple times that this is life saving thing so not always that ventilator will save in fact ventilator per se or invasive ventilation per se has got its own side effects its own negative points which is prevented by use of niv therefore niv has double advantages over uh invasive ventilation in covid as well as non covid patients so when we have to select niv cpap or bipap support for any of the patient the first and foremost thing will be that for what medical condition this device this niv support is being prescribed if it is a sleep apnea patient the prescription will be according to the severity of sleep apnea according to the level of oxygen which is going down during the sleep on the other hand in a severe copd patient what are his lung functions and what is the abg values whether patient is actually retaining carbon dioxide or it is just the hypoxic hypo, uh, hypoxic respiratory failure or just the oxygen is going down so in those cases the selection will be based on whether we need cpap or whether the patient needs a bipap or whether patient needs a avaps similarly the patients who have pump failure who have got a chest wall deformity the patients in whom the respiratory muscles are involved definitely the bipap would be a better choice if you ask me advantages of niv over invasive ventilation as we have seen in covid pandemic the patients who were managed on high flow oxygen hfnc or niv support they did better than the patients who were offered invasive ventilation because invasive ventilation will always require care by an anesthetist or a person who is trained to take care of your airway intubation which is a skilled procedure not all the doctors in periphery are accustomed to it same way invasive ventilation will have side effects like barrow trauma volu trauma or vili ventilator induced lung injury so it will further complicated a patient's lung condition who is already affected with covid or some kind of illness therefore niv 
definitely it has been life saving for all the patients so patients during covid who suffered residual pulmonary scarring who were discharged because of recovery from covid but still were in respiratory failure they will require an iv at home they will require cpap or bipap support along with oxygen at home same way the other patients of severe copd or end stage ild or severe sleep apnea they will require an iv in the form of cpap or bipap at home obesity hypoventilation patients with morbid obesity will require an iv at home but definitely this has to be prescribed by the specialized doctor just like for any drug we recommend this amount or this strength of the drug with frequency of twice daily or thrice daily is to be used the same way we have to make a preparation make a prescription that this much of pressure of cpap or bipap is required recommended for this particular patient and for a duration of this much hours of the day so the patients who require inhaled steroids or inhaled bronchodilators they will require nebulization and the patients who are severely affected with covid or patients who are severely in respiratory failure they will need aerosolized drug inhaled drugs even on niv so that is possible so there are devices like venti nebulizer so that can be attached to the niv circuit and patient can be simultaneously given niv support along with the aerosolized drugs or nebulization along with it now if we come to post discharge and iv management there are patients who will require it and that needs to be judged on the severity of the disease whether patient has severe pulmonary fibrosis or scarring he need respiratory support or he has got severe respiratory failure in those cases cpap bipap or an iv support will be required at home and not only during covid even in pre covid era the an iv bipap or cpap had been used and utilized for severely affected copd patients or sleep apnea patients and the same stands true for all these patients today also from the doctor's perspective it is very important that all doctors who are prescribing niv cpap or bipap to their patients they need to check whether patient is compliant and using them use as you have prescribed it because patient might face problem with dryness of mouth or maybe there is too much of pressure on the face and they are getting nasal bridge ulcer or anything else so there are remedies available for it we have got silicon mask available uh, there are uh, silicon pads which can be put around the mask doctor has to check the compliance for use of niv of every patient and if you have they have any concern you you have remedial measures available for it